Insert disc two. Flack asked our opinion on what we think of the new mini PC that is rumored to be in production. Well, it's a crowdsourced. Uh, I, I, it's funny. Uh, it's never I, failed before. Crowdsourcing well, is a funny model. Well, they the, the difference in this is opposed to other things is they have a working allegedly have a working finished model. Mm -hmm. And you see the guy, if you, I don't know if you, did you watch the video uh, uh, with that featured in it? No, I did not watch the video. Uh, he sits down and plays Doom on it, and he plays, uh, uh, I think he plays Quake, he plays a couple other, like, I think he maybe plays like a, uh, uh, a couple a couple other games, uh, like the original Duke Nukem, the old ones, uh, a couple, I mean, he plays, but, but uh, so what's my opinion? Uh, so this know. is this is a $99 device, <coughs> it's got HDMI, and three USB ports. Yeah, uh, it's it's. I think it's interesting looking. I know a lot of people ragged on the look, but it does look like something you that might come along with an old PC. It's a kind of a. It looks like a uh, uh, that deep smoker yellow that you would get from this old the right. beige. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, it's got uh, 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 it's wacky, but my question is why? And, and my question it's the same question I ask on all these minis. Um, if you're someone again, if with the Super Nintendo ones, at least I can understand the appeal because that's your your passion. Mm -hmm. You want to, and despite the fact you can play these games in a, a million different ways, okay. With this thing, it's even to me it'd be even weirder because uh, anyone that would buy this is probably really a hardcore PC guy. Now that much said, if this thing, if I could sit down with this device and play thirty two original DOS games from across the spectrum of time, from, say, like, 85 to 93, okay, 94, uh, you got something. And I, I think that what they're, I think what the guy says is they're going to do a, be a, a bit where you get SD cards to add content to it. So I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know. That. But the, the word on the street, it comes with, like, 30 games, okay? Now, and I've talked about this in the past, uh, but DOS games generally, DOS games before 1990 or so, I didn't. I mean, I'd rather play one of the Amiga. If you want the truth, they're, they're better most of the time. Uh, and you're talking in the early 80s. They the sound. There was no sound. It was anything with CGA. I mean, I don't. I listen. I know people are passionate about DOS gaming, which is to me, I've always found a little odd. Uh, because I think it's one of those things. It seems like a great idea until you sit down and play. Because I grew up playing these games, and they suck. The, game, the action games were no good mm -hmm. on the old PC games. Now, they got there eventually, and eventually they passed the Amiga. But uh, uh, the old ones, like, people are talking about Jill of the Jungle or, or Commander Keen. Everybody loves Commander Keen. I, they're they're, they're well-done games, but they're not that good because they're ugly, and yeah. they, don't, they don't play that well, yeah. you know? The resolution of the PC was just so low at but that time. It's mostly the... It's just... They don't... They, it wasn't made to... It, it's just not good. I mean, you could play. If you, it's not smooth. It's mm -hmm. just an ugly affair. Yeah. I mean, I guess you're right because it's not just about resolution. Because I mean, the 2600 had terrible resolution. Right. But it's a combination of the game not looking good and not playing well and having no sound capabilities. Right. Yeah. And then on top of that, so you, I mean, again, it, if you're gonna have a, if you're gonna release a mini PC, and you go out and you license Doom and Quake, and you know, let's, I'm trying to think of what would have been like One Must Fall, which we just covered. Or, or Star Control 2, or or some of the old Blizzard stuff. You know, some of the... I mean, and I'm guessing this stuff would not be cheap. All right? So I'd say it's unlikely. But you never know. Because what are they doing with their old DOS properties? Probably not much. Mm -hmm. So maybe you get lucky, and you get 30 quality titles. But if you're going to get a bunch of old Apogee games, like uh, Jill of the Jungle, or Jazz Jackard, as much fun as those games were at the time, I mean, they're okay. At, they're okay at best. And so, to me, I know somebody's somewhere is going bananas. They're gonna, you know, give me the big thumbs down. But I'm just saying, when I grew up playing them, it didn't do it for me, you know. Uh, and so, so it, a lot of it depends on the titles they pick. Could they get 30 titles between 85 and 94 that are quality titles? Absolutely, there's no doubt. If they want, to, if they get them, and if they if they're smart, if they're smart about what they get, if but um, uh, my biggest wonder is. Um, how is this? If I'm assuming this is some kind of like ARM-based gimmick, like a RetroPie mm -hmm. or Android or something. Um, my same question as with the other stuff. I mean, it's an emulator. 
the new PlayStation thing that came out this week. Everybody, there's a big ruffle over it because it uses a, a, an open source emulator. Why are people mad? Who cares? You knew it was going to emulate the PlayStation. The newsflash, the Super Nintendo Mini emulates the Super Nintendo. You're not playing a real one. You know, all these are emulation. And they're mad. The emulation's good. They don't, have the, they don't have the options in there that the Mini does. That's Sony's fault for being lazy. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's emulation. So if you if you want to emulate old DOS games easily, this is the thing for yeah, you. Yeah, and here's, here's, here's my deal with this. The reason, a big reason why I like playing my Super Nintendo Mini, thanks again, Hasifa, for sending that over, is because the controller feels like an old school Super Nintendo controller. You know, the, holding the controller in my hands while I'm playing the thing, while I'm looking at the thing, it kind of brings me back. Right. Okay? With the Mini PC, you know, you're, you're sold this box that's got USB ports, okay? Yep. So in order for you to fully recreate that experience, you're not going to be able to do it right out of the box. You're going to need to get one of those old IBM M model, you know, keyboards with the clicky-clack keys. They're an awesome. old craft joystick where the centering mechanism is halfway busted. Which doesn't work on, yeah. it won't work on USB. Right, other, right. Other game ports. So, like, it's it's an incomplete solution if you're going for the nostalgia play. Here's what, Here's how I would have done it. Okay, while we're talking about it, because I thought about this. If you're going to put out a classic PC Mini, <clears throat> all right, and you're going to... I know this is unrealistic, okay? Because this... I'll give them credit. What they did for $99, I think that's the asking price, they may appeal to some people. I mean, it's not going to have the appeal of the Nintendo products, obviously. But if there are some people... I mean, having 30 DOS games handily available, you can't... Unless you have a setup, like a Pi or something, it's not something normally people would have. But... What would have been more fun for me is if it had a game port. Because one thing you said is true. Unlike the Super Nintendo, the PlayStation, the N64, everyone had a different PC. Mm -hmm. Everyone had different controllers. What I would have done, if it was me, I would have either put a game port on it somehow so you could actually let people use the controller they want, or go with what was the most popular controller of the day, which is like a Gravis or something, and make a USB version then you might have, at least you've got that. But it's hard to get nostalgic about this stuff when it's not, like, when I look at a Nintendo Mini, it's a Nintendo, it looks like my old Nintendo, but it's a small version. Mm -hmm. When I look at this, do I see a small PC or a small version? When I used to have, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. I see a, uh, something similarly colored with a different controller, and, you know, so it's going to be different. It's a, it's a tough sell. All that aside, I'm interested to see where it goes, and I'm not poo-pooing it. A lot of it comes down to the games they pick and the way they're presented. Right. You know, and if they do a good job, it, I, you know, I, that's one of, the, of all the minis that I'm not giving a crap about any of them. That's the only one that if they did 30 good games and they put good quality controllers in the thing, I would be interested in. That's the only one. Assuming this is an ARM little tiny board in there. Um, I mean, if you're really going down the same road as a Raspberry Pi, except you're, it's more money, right? I mean, you're really, you're, because the Pi plays a lot of DOS stuff, you know, so it's even more ridiculous, I think, in a lot of ways than the in Nintendo ones. I mean, the way, yeah, I mean, it, it, I wish if this thing would have come, okay, let's just say if this thing would have come <laughs> with a mini, like say, like this big, clicky keyboard that was branded with the IBM thing in the corner. Well, you're, now you're nuts. That's I know, I know, but I'm just saying. What I would like to see is a miniaturized 486. I don't know how small they can make a... I don't mean a... I don't want an emulated I don't want an emulated 486. Mm -hmm. I don't want it some kind of... Uh, I want a proper... Mm -hmm. Like a 40... You know, they've got the Amiga on a chip. You've heard that about this thing. Mm -hmm. And they've got the... Or the C64 on a chip or Atari on a chip, whatever. Mm -hmm. I want a, a 486 on a chip, or, and, and, or if you get cute, a P1. I'll settle for a P1 if you got to do it. I want a board about yay big, all right? I, I, don't, I can get past the USBs. I can get past that. But if you do a, a proper 46, and then you uh, have DOS, and I don't know what it would cost to license a DOS 311 or, or, or 5 or whatever you want to use, uh, uh, but I, I get, I get, uh, they're all licensed with a little DOS image, and all the games run like exactly like they're supposed to. I mean, the thing boots up to them. What you'd have to do is build a front end, you sl select your games, and the front end would not be DOS, it'd be whatever. And then once you pick your game, the thing reboots, it boots up with the auto exec stuff already ready to go, and then it boots the game proper. I then think, you got something. I think that could be really cool, especially if when it reboots, you see the BIOS screen pop up. 
you know, the American megatrends or whatever. Right. And you, you, you watch the RAM count up or whatever. And uh, I think that would be really cool. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. 